Yo, welcome back to another video. It's your boy EJ with NBO Kill. Nothing before family, man. And I'm out here with Cryptic Murrow, man. We've been walking for about, I say less than 30 minutes, honestly. It's our first time walking on the leash. Um, of course, at first it started out, you know, so you see how she moving, got a tail tuck. She's just getting more comfortable with being beside me. I keep the leash super short. You know what I'm saying? I don't want her going off too far. I don't want her walking over me. And I don't want her too far behind me. What? Well, look at that. As y'all can see, we figuring it out though. She learning. I'm learning. Let's go. See how old she is? She ain't even standing all the way tall. She's trying to figure everything out, y'all. It's a process, man. So whoever purchases any one of my puppies from now on, my dog will come, my puppies will come trained, um, basic, you know what I'm saying? Walking on the leash, sit, come, stay. I've been working on all that with all the pups. And um, we're just gonna get better and better, man. Come on. We're just gonna get better and better and better. How y'all like that intro? Let me know, man. I'm so excited because, like, I've been doing this YouTube shit for about four, three, four years, about three years, something like that. And um, I finally, like, invested the money and got, you know, professional logos, professional intros. And um, I'm happy about it, man. Hopefully, uh, every little thing I do, you know, um, will increase the value of what I have going on because... The more you invest, the more you, you return. That's kind of how I go. I have a website coming to coming soon. As all that's always that that has always been one of the things I've uh, said I was gonna do. So that uh, that will be dropping very very soon. We're just getting the details and everything done, finalized how I want to set up. It's already in the works, fellas and ladies. It's already in the works. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Let's go. So yeah, we just right there, just a late night walk. It's probably like around midnight. Um, I've already walked Junior, which was not so bad. She started out kind of rocky, but it ended up being kind of like how it is, like how she is right now. She's always looking at me, um, watching me, trying to see if she's doing the right thing. Cause it's just whenever you put something on somebody's neck, or well, not somebody, but whenever you put something on an animal neck, and then you you tie a leash to it, it just it first off it confuses them. Like they don't understand what's going on, they don't understand what's happening, and they honestly don't know what you want them to do. Like they just don't get it. So um, whenever you try to teach a dog how to walk on a leash, please be patient. Please be patient. This shit is not something that happens instantly. It's not something they naturally know how to do or what to do. Um, so definitely be patient with them. That's why she's always looking up at me, making sure that she's doing the right thing for me, that I'm not getting angry with her, I'm not getting upset with her. Um, yeah, so that's just what's going on. Of course, we had the whole pool and jumping around and the wine and all that stuff at first. And like I said, I try to record as much as I can, but you gotta understand, I am one person, so Yesterday, I didn't record any videos. I honestly spent time with just them. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to get them how I want them. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of folks wait until their dog is to a certain type of standard before they bring out cameras and shit like that. But I kind of been, I kind of been overshowing y'all a lot of shit because I could have just took amazing pictures, got them photoshopped, how you know how people do, and it just shows y'all short clips of the dogs. But I actually been going in deep since I started this journey. So I kind of want to continue to do what I've been doing. And it's been very beautiful, very hard. Y'all have seen a lot of mistakes I've made. And um, hopefully with this vlog, with what I got going on, hopefully you guys and you ladies, when I mean you guys, I don't mean actually males, but so when I say you guys, it's for both. But hopefully y'all can learn from my mistakes. And that is the reason I'm able to um, that is not the reason I'm able to, but that is the reason 
I post everything because I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. I wish there was a channel like mine out before I bought dogs. I'll be a lot further in the game. I'm telling you guys right now. So when you guys buy dogs from me, you're honestly skipping a, a whole level that I had to go through as far as research, as far as picking dogs out, as far as temperament looking on what to look for and shit like that. Because honestly, until you have a litter and you actually see that litter grow, you honestly don't know what you're getting. So for you guys to be able to watch my dogs, the mom and dad mature, Look, she don't know what she don't know what's going on. She don't know what to do. She don't. She's just super. She confused. It was a car. Cause she did a whole 360 turn. But we're back. Eventually her tail will be up. You know she'll be wagging it when we go on these walks. But right now this is just she's just running right now. So which is cool. See that? Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Come on. You just know it when she hit me do this, it's still okay. Okay, now she's ignoring it. Alright, so yeah. So that's what's going on, y'all. I'm just I'm learning each one of my dogs individually. Seeing how their personality is one-on-one. -on -one. Cause a lot of y'all don't understand when dogs are in a pack, they're not acting how they would act if or when they go to their forever home. Like a lot of my dogs, as soon as they get to, as soon as they get to their forever home, they become very, very chill and relaxed because they don't have to. First of all, they don't have to fight over food anyway. But it's just another thing of being next to another dog while you eat, which is a good thing that I'm break that I have them like that right now, so you don't have to worry about like kids and people walking up on your dog and stuff like that, wondering if it's gonna bite. Because my dogs, I've been around kids their whole life. I've been around people. Feeding them, touching them, telling them no, everything. Like they've been learning a whole lot. So I guess that's the perk of getting a dog so er or getting a dog at an age like this. Because they come with great manners already because I am a very, 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 very hands-on person. So look at that. Hey girl. Hey mama. Hey. It's okay. All right, tail still tucked, but she's very beautiful. She has a wide chest. Come on, she has a wider chest than um what her dad had. So I'm very excited to see how she spread because I know the spread is coming. Like there's nothing you can't avoid it. Like I can't avoid it. She can't avoid it. The spread is coming, but she's so athletic. I'm super excited, like, you guys don't even understand what this girl is going to come, like, turn into. Come on, let's go. This way, let's go. Let's go. See what's going on, just stay consistent. Stay firm, but please have patience. She's hearing a lot of new sounds. It's a whole new environment she's not used to. I'm at the lake right now, just walking her. And I will do more videos like this of just um, showing you guys how I spend my quality time. But this is like, this is the most quality time, not the most, but this is like one of the, come on girl. This is really good for dogs. Like, just taking them on a walk. It's a real good bonding tool. Let's go. There you go. Okay. So yeah, this is Cryptic Merle, y'all. Remember, remember how small she is right now. Like, please just get a great look at this. Look at her temperament. Look at everything. Just get a great look and just watch the growth. Like, whoever buy this girl and put her on YouTube, it's just, it's a, it's a viral moment waiting to happen. Um, and the longer she stay here, the more excited I am about her. And I'm very, very, very appreciative, appreciative of um, 
how she came out, man. She's not as colorful as her sisters, because, you know, I had most of her sisters with Merle, and then we got Sandy, which is not that colorful, and Blue, which isn't that colorful either. But they're very, very beautiful dogs, too. So, like, this Ritter was just complete fire. And it's crazy because um, y'all don't even understand. I didn't even show y'all the ones that didn't make it. But the one that didn't make it was just, this litter was just fire. Like, it was fire. I wish I could repeat it, but I can't because Navy's gone. And I told people I wasn't going to do that anyway. So I try to stick to my word as much as possible. But this litter was just fire, man. Super fire. Very, very, very strong bulls. Um, they remind me so much of the double XL design pit bulls because that's where Navy parents from, Navy mom is from. So that's pretty tight. That's pretty, pretty tight. Pretty tight. Come on. Let's go. So yeah, it's just a little walk, y'all. Talking to y'all, catching up. People that have been reaching out about the three blues. Um, it's two females and one male available. I'm getting the ears crop um, maybe this weekend. I've just been so busy just spending one-on-one -on -one time with them because I've been so out of it, y'all. Like, when I was sick and before I was sick, I was just kind of get discouraged and stuff like that. And it always happened, man. It's just one of those things, man. We all go through it. We're not really feeling the business, not feeling the direction we in and, and how we are. And just we go through a lot of self-doubt and, and we got to pick ourselves back up, man. So... The fact that I have y'all um, commenting, reaching out, calling, and texting me, y'all make me more excited about this. And then my neighbors and my business partner, um, Hector and Ryan and Quan, my partners in the business. So they make it uh, they make it exciting for me too. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause there's just so much going on. And they tell me I'm right there. And I have to rem remember and remind myself, like EJ, this is your first, come on girl. Come on. This is your first year breeding. So, like, I'm actually spending time with dogs I've produced. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing like that. It's, it's almost awkward. Like, like, damn, I really put that together. Like, I created that. So, that's what's going on right now. I'm actually just spending one-on-one -on -one time with dogs I've created. It's a different feeling, y'all. Like, it's one of them feelings like, okay, you go buy a dog. But when you make it, it's just it's a different type of feeling, y'all. So I'm definitely in a great headspace as far as just watching my production grow. Because I've just I've had amazing litters. Like I've had amazing litters. I did the research, I put the time in, I invested the money. And I'm I'm you know, I'm starting to see the rewards of it and the rewards of it. There's so many happy families out there. I've made over twenty families very, very happy. And they they love their dogs, man. It's just been, it's been very very beautiful also as you guys know i have um a guy that bought two dollars from me um he bought um the lilac tri female he wanted the pink collar and he bought the pie ball the white and brown pie ball male i think it's pie ball it's just brown and white um i will begin i will be reaching out to him this weekend to try to get him to uh, send me an update because uh, he bought two dogs so he has two of my dogs so I kind of want to see how they're growing up together. As you guys know, these puppies are only two weeks apart. So um, they're very close in age. I'm just ready to see how they turn out. Also, um, if you haven't seen me updated pictures of, of, your, of your dog that I've sold you guys, please make sure you send me those updated pictures in video so I can post them to the website, um, post them to my Instagram page. I need you guys to follow the Instagram page. It will be on the screen, nbf underscore channel. Make sure you follow that Instagram. I'm going to put NBF underscore Ken on the left. And then my, my personal Instagram is NBF underscore EJ. And I put it on the right, maybe. Yeah, I put it on the right. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the intro. I've been getting some great feedback on it. I really do appreciate the feedback. And I will drop more videos tomorrow of just basic one-on-one -on -one with my pups. Um, hopefully you guys like those videos. Um, let me know in the comment section. Where you're viewing from also let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next from me from the dogs also um just for me personally if you got any video ideas you guys could throw at me i'm willing to try uh try some things out if it's not too crazy also i'm willing to try some things out with, with the pups i will be going to the dog park again 
as you guys know, I was waiting to see when a ton of heat was gonna come because as you guys know, what you probably don't know is it'd be a lot of males at the dog park that's not fixed. And um, I'm one of those people that take their dogs to the dog park that's not fixed, but it's okay. I'm not saying it's necessarily okay, but you don't take a female that's in heat, close to heat, right? Finishing heat to a dog park because you will start some stuff that's unnecessary. So I've been kind of trying to watch and peep when Katana was coming to heat because I do want to take her back to the dog park. She does really, really well with stranger dogs. And um, y'all don't know, she's, uh, Katana has uh, gained over 30 pounds since like in the last month and a half. Like she's growing so fast. Like she's almost bigger than Roxy. She's taller than Roxy and Zeus right now. Um, she, yeah, she's, just, she's big, man. That's gonna be a big female. I'm super, super duper excited to see how she uh, um, looked next to Hazel, my uh, my Zeus uh, and Nyla daughter. So um, just once they get six, seven months, I mean, not six, seven months, once they get a year old and stuff like that, because Hazel is my keeper female for my Zeus and um, Nyla. So yeah, we just uh, we just continue to work. I will show the three puppies that, that are available tomorrow. I will be showing those pups tomorrow one-on-one -on -one videos. Um, not one-on-one -on -one videos, but just videos with just showing them individually, showing you the difference of how they look. Also, going deep into the temperament of those dogs as well. Um, they're very feisty pups. They got a high drive, super high drive. So if you're looking for a high drive big bull, that is what you're looking for. Also, um, Crypto Murrow is a high drive female as well. So. We're looking for that. I still have her. I still have her available. Um, she's the same price as the other pups, and the other pups are just blues. Um, they like like blue, whatever. And cryptic Murrow, This girl will produce Murrow. So I'm, I may be just. I may just keep her honestly. But we'll see, man. Maybe we could do some type of partner deal. Uh, partner deal. Partner deal on her. Um, it's not even really a partner deal. It's called co-own. So maybe we could do some co-own with this beautiful female I have right here. Uh, we both can make some money together, man. I think it'd be a great idea for somebody that's um, that's looking to jump into the business and jump into it the right way. I'm the right way. Everything you need to know is very, it's a, it's a very detailed history on all my dogs on this channel. So, catch you guys in this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and please let me know what y'all think about the intro. Sparking pretty good, y'all. So we want and this girl get big like 100 pounds plus and that head spread and she got that big old white face and, and pretty eyes and like oh man the public she's going through her lanky stage right now but man i already know what she's gonna turn out to be and it's crazy because when i bought roxy and i bought navy and all that i honestly had no idea how they was gonna turn out and um it turned out exactly what I needed. So I'm, uh, I'm super excited to see how she turns out. Come on, girl. You got a little run for me? You do a little running? Do a run a little bit? Come up. Okay. She has a good, you see that? She's not even running, but look how good she is. She has good hips, good legs. She don't hop. She don't drag her feet. She, she's a very, very, very healthy girl. Like, I tried is very, very good. She's gonna sleep like a baby when we get home, too. Let's go, girl. All right, catch you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe.